the old wavy pantaloons, folks. Make sure that you switched. That was a swistle. And yeah. I mean, we're gonna be testing out a couple of different backgrounds. I'm gonna tell you that much. And I have my contacts in and I feel like I can't even see the screen. I think we gotta get lower. Get that out of there. I scoot you in. Fix the baby hairs. Okay. All right, you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin. For those of you that are new, if you're not, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. I haven't filmed a yoga video in a hot minute. I just finished teaching and I brought the old tripod, brought the camera. I'm in a mood. I'm going to film. The baby hairs are kind of like almost too much. The first yoga video that I filmed was a sun salutation A. So today I feel like it would only make sense that we sun salutation B and just move right along a vinyasa sequence. If you're interested in learning about sun salutation Bs, what that is, or just having a guided yoga experience, then just keep watching. <laughs> let's go. So sun B, you start in, let's say mountain pose, so Tadasana, we went over that in sun salutation A. From the ground up, your big toes are together. You have an inch between your heels, you present the palms forward, take a lift into the chest, take a lift into the head, draw your low belly in, so low back is long and strong. Take a big breath in, you lengthen, go ground into the feet, so feel kind of this duality in the body, lifting up as much as you're pressing down. Utkatasana, chair pose. You bend your knees, crease your ankles, you sweep your arms up. Now with chair pose, I'm going to get out of it for a moment with chair pose. So if you're like, old news girl, I got this one in the bag, then you just hold this whole time that I'm talking about chair pose. Really specific to your shoulders. If you're dealing with any pain, any injury, any pushback, perfect modification is just to do goal post arms in your chair pose. Just ditch upward salute and take your goal post, open hands, open heart. You know that that's just fine. That's a perfect place to be. So from Tadasana, we inhale chair pose, with Tadasana, draw the low belly in, tailbone is heavy. That's probably the biggest thing that I see in students' bodies is that they love to do, uh, uh. they love to do that to get rid of it, draw the low belly in, it's a neutral spine pose. So you want to think tabletop or like a flat back body while in your chair posture. First time we're here, probably three to five rounds of breath, from the ground up, more weight is back in your heels. Squeeze the inner knees together, come back to low belly in, reach up, project energy out through your hands, spiral your pinkies in. Exhale, you forward fold. And releasing the head below the heart, forward fold. This is a great place that you can use blocks if you'd like additional support. Don't release the head fully below the heart. If you're staying in this halfway marker, otherwise release the head below the heart and get super heavy. Ardha Uttanasana on the inhale, so halfway lift, chest is parallel to the floor, low back is long. Draw your low belly in, really fire up your shoulder blades, so squeeze the inner shoulder blades in for your halfway lift moment. Chest is open, crown of the head lengthens, and push your butt back. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale to chaturanga. So we did this before in sun A, if you are not super certain, I will link the video in the bottom or below. So watch that first and I do a really great breakdown tuning my own horn, but I do a breakdown of chaturanga, um, and you can work through alignment there. Exhale to chaturanga, clench your hands, high to low. You can go with the knees, without the knees. Inhale, upward facing dog. If upward is too intense, modify your back bend work and you take cobra, pelvis to floor. Navel to spine, exhale to downward facing dog, lift your hips. Inhale to sweep your right leg high, down dog kick. Your left heel lifts, create some space. Draw your low belly in, look where you want to go. Exhale, low lunge, right foot in between your hands. Inhale, warrior one, arms sweep up. Take your hands to your hips, square your hips. Right hip back, left hip forward. If that's not happening, quick change. Give your hips the gift of space. Totally your right foot wider, draw your right hip back. Navel draws in, low back is long. Big inhale, arms sweep up. Spiral of pinkies, plug your shoulders down. Warrior one, boom. Grip with your toes, drive into your heels. Stay lifted for the inhale. Exhale, low lunge, circle your hands down. Inhale, down dog kick, sweep right leg high. If you want the additional vinyasa, go right into chaturanga. If you don't want to be bothered, like I don't, go into downward facing dog. Second side, second leg. Big inhale, sweep your left leg high. Navel to spine, lift your right heel. Exhale, low lunge. Left foot is now in between your hands. Drop down to your right heel. Inhale, warrior one. Same setup. Square hips. Option to go get the left foot a little bit wider. 
bone, hip square to the front edge of your space. Hip square is super important. If with warrior one, your hips are slang open, it puts bad pressure on the sacrum. Square hip pose, navel in, lift your heart, elevate the arms. Same thing here like chair pose. If you want to modify, goal pose is a great place to soften through shoulders. Otherwise, full expression, arms sweep up. If arms up with wrists and shoulders is well received by your body, then press your hands together, draw your belly in, shift your gaze up. So you change perspective to start to advance and work through a deeper variation on your pose. Take one more inhale, warrior one. Exhale, you circle down, low lunge. Inhale, down dog kicks. Keep your left leg high, get long. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel. Inhale, half pivot. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Bend your knees, sweep your arms, or goal pose. Exhale, Tadasana. So that's one round of our sun salutation B. Different alignment cues, different modifications that you can integrate. Sometimes you can add in those modifications and other times you just ditch them and you do full expression. Something that I often offer when I'm teaching, just because you can do the full expression on a pose doesn't mean that you have to every single time, right? It's not worth sacrificing the alignment, the integrity behind the practice, the integrity behind your postures. Just do what's suitable for you here and now. So right here, right now, absolutely no ego. If at any point you need rest throughout the actual breath to movement vinyasa flow of sun salutation B, please take rest. Take a seat, lie on your back, get a sip of water, whatever you need, just take rest. Be kind to yourself, take care of yourself. So come to standing at the top of your space, Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, Tadasana, chair pose, sweep your arms, full breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Inner shoulder blades squeeze in, shoulders down. Exhale to Chaturanga, plant your hands, you step or jump back, only lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog, keep the knees lifted. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips, shift your perspective towards your toes. Inhale, sweep right leg high, elevate your left heel. Exhale, low lunge, navel to spine, lunge it through. Left heel down, inhale, warrior one. Wrists on shoulders, goal post, or palms press. As soon as you exhale, it happens fast, circle down, low lunge. Inhale, down dog kick, right leg high. Exhale, down dog. Plug your shoulders down, second side. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, lunge through. Right heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Goal post, full expression. Exhale, low lunge. Plant with control. Inhale, down dog kick. Exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk or hop there. Inhale, halfway lift. If you want supportive blocks, have them close by. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, Tadasana, mountain pose. So that was one full round. I'll go through again. Less cueing. I will just give you, let's say, breath, posture. Sometimes I say that and I still get physical body cues. So I'm going to try to the best of my ability to give you a flow. All we can do is try, you know? Starting in Tadasana, let's cleanse the breath together one time. Take a big nostril breath in. Open mouth, audible exhale. Now we flow. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your right leg high. Exhale, lunge it through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, down dog kick. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, sweep left. Exhale, lunge through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, down dog kick. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel there. Inhale, halfway up. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, Tadasana, mountain pose. Let your breath settle. Collect your hands at your heart. Collect thumbs at the third eye. Let your body breathe. Just angles, you know? Inhale, chair pose. Big sweep of the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, sweep your right leg high. Exhale, little lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, circle down. Inhale, down dog kick. Lengthen. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, sweep your left. Exhale, lunge it through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, lower your lunge. Inhale, down dog kick. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel where you're looking. Inhale, half pivot. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Seal the lips, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing bow. Inhale, sweep your right leg high. Exhale, lunge it through. Your inhale, warrior one, sweep your arms. This is optional, exhale to chaturanga or exhale, downward dog. Inhale, upward facing. Now we all meet back up, exhale, downward facing dog. Second side, inhale, sweep left. Exhale, lunge it through. Inhale, warrior one, full breath in. Exhale, chaturanga or choose to skip, down dog. Upward facing. And downward facing. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, mountain. Another round. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Please make sure you're still breathing. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Option on the exhale, chaturanga, take your flow. Or exhale, downward dog. If you'd like, lift your right leg up. Take Ekapana chaturanga, lifting legs. Downward dog is where we meet. Second side, inhale, sweep left. Exhale, lunge it through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale to chaturanga. If you want the leg lift, sweep left leg high. Keep it strong, active. Exhale, chaturanga, chest low. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel. Inhale, half. Exhale and fold. Inhale, chair pose. Last time. Exhale, Tadasana. Wowza. Wowza. Heat is built. Holy. I'm glowing from within, but also sweating on the outside. So as far as I'm concerned, that is the end of this video. As you get more comfortable with your sun salutation A, then you start to add on to that and tack on eventually five rounds through sun B. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Apparently, uh, the notification button is like a thing that you should be clicking. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others and I will see you guys soon. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thirst. I'm so thirsty right now. Yeah, have a beautiful day. Thank you again, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. And how's that? How's that, folks? Big inhale. Boom. Adjust my pants. Adjust my pants! <laughs>